Welcome to Around the World Channel. Chromecast revamps itself with remote, Google TV software for $50 CNET. Google unveiled a new Chromecast streaming device Wednesday, an update to its $30 dongle released in 2018 and the higher-end $70 Chromecast Ultra released in 2016. Steve and Alex from Minecraft is the latest character coming to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, The Verge. The second fighter in the Fighters Pass Volume 2 has arrived Nintendo unveiled this morning that Steve and Alex from Minecraft will be added to the character roster in Super Smash Bros. 2020 Election Updates, Trump Signs Bill to Avert Shutdown, COVID-19 Stimulus Talks Find Life, Trump and Biden Campaign After First Debate, USA Today. Tens of thousands of airline industry workers are bracing for layoffs and furloughs on Thursday if Congress fails to pass a relief package aimed at alleviating the economic impact of the coronavirus. NFL says Steelers-Titans game won't be played in week four after two more positive coronavirus tests, ESPN. The Pittsburgh Steelers-Tennessee Titans game will not be played during week four following two additional positive coronavirus tests among the Titans, the NFL announced Thursday. Microsoft updates the Surface Pro X with a new processor option, and gadget. In addition to configurations with the new SQ2 processor, the Surface Pro X is also available today in a new silvery platinum finish. Braves look for a solid outing from Ian Anderson with chance to advance on the line, talking chop. The longest scoreless game in playoff history. A playoff record 37 combined strikeouts between the Reds and Braves. Trump signs stopgap spending bill to avert government shutdown, CBS News. Washington. President Trump signed a stopgap government spending bill just after midnight Thursday that funds the government into December, averting a partial government shutdown. Jobless claims edge lower to 837,000 as slow recovery continues, CNBC. First-time claims for unemployment insurance totaled 837,000 last week. The Labor Department said Thursday as the jobs market continues its plotting recovery from the coronavirus pandemic. United and American Airlines tell 32,000 employees they're now on furlough, NPR. American Airlines check-in counters sit closed last month behind plastic barriers at Los Angeles International Airport. Bing Guan Bloomberg via Getty Images updated at 10.30 a.m. Stimulus update. White House offer details emerge. $1.6 trillion stimulus package with $1,200 stimulus checks, $400 unemployment benefits, $250 billion state local aid, Forbes. Details of the White House's counteroffer to Pelosi's updated Heroes Act emerged last night. Dot dot dot. Plus, Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin proposed a $1. Please, like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to stay tuned for upcoming news.